Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. As for the exterior, it is very Italian as opposed to German in the spectrum of European CUVs. It is attractive and as with Giulia, Stelvio gives you a lot of exterior styling for your money. Good looking and distinctive, it is also original. Take a look for yourselves. This compact CUV is roomy enough with practical 40, 20, 40 rear seats. There is room for four normal sized people, but over six feet in back, it's gonna to be touchy. The front seats are extremely bolstered, yet are somehow reasonably comfortable. The leather is of okay quality and the interior is quaint. However, in terms of fit and finish, it is not up to the German level of craftsmanship. There were a few minor rattles. The infotainment is complex. The screen resolution is okay. CarPlay and Auto are standard. And the center console layout is otherwise clean and easy to use. High level leather and starter button for the steering wheel are nice. There are soft touch materials throughout the cabin, though not high level. I suspect the interior tank-like feel was not the priority in order to keep the price reasonable in exchange for a crazy engine, best in-class steering, and best driving experience that is missing from the otherwise high-level German experience. This is a perfectly honest trade-off. The suspension is sporty, but CUV appropriate. You will not lose any fillings. Stelvio comes in many trims and the appearance and standard features increase reasonably as you spend more and trim up. You can even choose your caliper colors. Many options are standalone such as the HK sound system and that is unlike certain German option groups which cost a fortune. Think about that when cross shopping. You may get your Alpha CUV at a significantly lower price with the options you want. The engine is a rock star, especially in dynamic mode, with 280 horsepower and 306 pounds of torque, with all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission. It does 10.8 liters in the city and 8.3 in the highway on premium gas. City fuel economy figures are optimistic. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers driving the 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. This is the four cylinder turbo model. It comes in multiple trims. They're well staggered on the website. It starts at 50,000, it tops up at 57,000 and you can get options with that. What's the difference between the different models? Basically, it's the wheels, is their appearance packages. It's well done. You can get the sound system as a standalone option, which differs greatly from the German rivals, which often when you want the high end sound system, you have to add five to $10,000 of options. You don't have to do it. You don't have that compromise in this model, which is kind of nice. Exterior styling, interior styling. It feels like Europe here, um, especially the exterior styling. I think it's refreshingly European. It's sexy. You know what I mean? It's not as serious as the Germans, let's say. On the interior, though, uh, Ross likes this interior. I'm taking it down one notch from Ross. I think there's little rattles, doesn't have quite that bank vault feel like the Germans do. Wonderful steering wheel, nice soft leather, wonderful. Seats, awkwardly, they're very bolstered, yet they're very comfortable. I don't know how they did that. Ross is a big guy also, he made the same remark. It's got a nice beautiful panoramic roof here. Visibility is relatively good. Nice giant rear view mirrors, I like. Infotainment is a bit complicated, but I like that they have dials for the temperature and everything really makes it handy. And also if your infotainment screen gives out, you still have heating and cooling. In conclusion, I would certainly recommend this vehicle for a lease, not so much the purchase, because in Europe, Alfa Romeo does not have the reputation of reliability, like let's say Toyota or Lexus in this case. So those are my thoughts on the 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio.